what's up everybody welcome back to the channel it is yours truly vanny june and welcome back man go ahead and hit that like button like never before and subscribe to the one touch universe join the one touch family man listen big news out of 2k man they didn't sent us a whole new vlog blog article about uh my career mode for wwe 2k 18 and i gotta say bro if this pans out to be let's say they just get things half right right just half right from 2k 17 this might just be an enjoyable my career finally you know what i'm saying so let's dive into this article man um we just go breeze through some of the things that really stand out. Um, one of the first things that stand out is they said that two things that stood out most to us following to WWE 2K17 were the lack of free roaming backstage and a shift back to a telling, compelling, telling, compelling, telling a compelling story through self-created WWE superstars, also known as my players. So they really realized like not being able to move around backstage. Not being able to have a, a, a really compelling story throughout the whole thing. Because I'm telling you, there's nothing compelling about facing uh, Big E or, or, or Bray Wyatt uh, four Raws in a row. There's nothing compelling about uh, the authority telling you again that since you don't want to follow the rules, they go put you in a steel cage match against Corporate Kane. Nothing compelling at all about that. So the fact that they decided to go back to that is really, really good. And the fact that they noticed that you gave us a backstage for matches, but like, hey, kind of wish I could go back there and say something more. You know what I'm saying? Than just uh, Renee giving me them random interviews after a match. So um, interesting that they focused on that. Uh, the first thing that they really talked about was story and progression. Uh, they wanted to focus on a strong narrative, and they wanted to focus on a backstage that could afford some new ways to experience the day-to-day -day life of a WWE superstar. They also needed to develop uh, compelling storylines that were no longer shared from the universe mode. Because uh, if you play WWE 2K17 religiously, you will notice that uh, my career and universe are completely the same. Uh, it's just that the universe basically allows you to control everybody um, and get the same cutscenes that you would just controlling your my player and my career. So they recognize we got to split that up. So that's exciting because uh, it just means that you don't feel like it's the same wash and rinse, repeat type of thing uh, playing the game. So uh, this year they said they have two very different paths you can take on your route to WrestleMania. Um and notice that the story won't end at WrestleMania, but they have two different paths. And so these two paths I'm going to uh, talk about, they're going to be similar to what we're already used to uh, seeing in WWE storylines anyway. So the first one is the company man. So this would be what you would consider your corporate rock. You know what I'm saying? Like, remember Corporate Rock when he joined Vince McMahon and Shane and you had the, the rock bottom pay-per-view and all that? That's what the Corporate Man is. Uh, the other Corporate Man would be like a Seth Rollins to a Triple H or uh, another Corporate, like a Corporate Kane. We saw that, obviously. So the Company Man is going down the Company Man path means you're all about helping the general managers get what they want out of the roster on any given show this involves conspiring with the gms backstage what what you want me to work with with with, with a gm to do some bad stuff okay i'm loving it okay so this involves conspiring with the gms backstage ambushing other wwe superstars in the locker room or during their interviews basically doing whatever it takes to maintain that gm's power both in ring and backstage the rewards are hefty though they talking about hefty, them boys fat. Some fat rewards, though. Continue helping the gym succeed, and you will gain all access to awesome upgrades, such as the ability to orchestrate a run-in to help you win a match. Like, you in a match, and you like, who the who? Let me get some help. And you go get some help, man. You can also access Vince McMahon's office to lobby for a match card change and title rematches. So you lose the title, you ain't on Vince's side. You all, you just go be uh, back at the bottom of the totem pole. But with the company man route, you can walk up in there like, Vince, I want that rematch. And he'll be like, for you, my man, you got it. All right. So 
The second one is fan favorite. Now, this is what you would consider. Everyone knows what that means. Your Stone Cold Steve Austin. All right. So uh, being a fan favorite means you don't play the whole company game and you're all about putting on the best matches and promos. You have a locker room full of WWE superstars and legends backstage. That's exciting to just know that they're going to have a, a background full of legends and other superstars. Because what I didn't, what I found like strange was that, and it's been for the last few years, is they will incorporate the legends, but not really, not on like a up to date type of thing. It's more like you got to go back in order to embrace embrace the legends instead of having them in the midst of. So kind of interesting, but that's what we're talking about now is having a backstage. Uh, full of WWE superstars and legends. This route involves earning their respect by different match types, night in, night out. You'll also have the WWE superstars test in-ring aptitude and skills on the microphone. But if you succeed at this, you will earn the whole locker room's respect. And with that comes some perks. Some perks and then hefty rewards. I'm not sure which one I want to do, but hefty sounds a lot better than some perks. WWE legends are always backstage during events. If you earn their respect, they start to give you in-ring bonuses for your matches and promos. If you become the complete package, if you become the complete package, like Chris Masters, all right, the guy who can walk the walk and talk the talk like Stone Cold, Steve Austin, or John Cena, you'll be able to have your own customized wwe championship or universal championship this honor is only given to the best of the best you gots to be kidding me a custom championship to be like my my own oh my goodness boy you better i I don't even know what to say like that would single-handedly that sound dope now that's a hefty reward I don't know about the other ones, but that is a hefty reward if you want to be the fan favorite. So it also says here, guys, in short, you're ultimately is ultimately your choice how your my player role to WrestleMania will unfold. Um, there's a lot of twists and turns to make it feel like your own story, and we hope you'll be surprised by a few of the stars and events that will pop up along the way. Moving on, guys, the free roaming backstage. This is dope. Let's see what this is about. So it says that uh, the fans have been wanting this. Obviously, we have. We, you know, they've had some my career uh, laced with some in the ring and out of the ring action. And it just made sense that they bring free Roman as a full thing into my career. Uh, With that, they're going to have a lot. You're going to be able to spend some more time interacting with stars, uh, supporting personnel, better personalities and their you know and all that backstage so instead of just going from like menu to match you'll be able to figure out who you want to align with and make rivals with and just do that backstage you want to walk up to Sami Zayn and say hey let's be tag team partners you're doing it backstage you want to walk up and attack Chris Jericho while he at the catering table and make him your enemy that's what you do backstage also with Renee Young, they say, if you want to interview, just walk up to Renee. I want to interview. Simple as that. No random, just out the blue. You didn't want a match, lost a match, and here go interview. You actually get to do that backstage. Um, and if you don't like a superstar, you don't like who she interviewing, you can walk up and just interrupt their interview. Like, hey, 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 interview over. It's my time. So that is going to be amazing, guys. That's definitely going to be sweet. Um, no shortage of personalities backstage, legends, GMs, apparel tailors, everything that you do backstage or that you do backstage basically will be the same thing that we did in our main menu. So you want to change your outfit, it's going to be backstage. You're going to have to walk up to the person and do it. You want to talk about training, all that is going to be backstage where you want to do it. That is going to be uh, pretty dope. There's going to be action, interactions that also present side quests that are separate from the main story. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? What? Side quests. That's going to be dope. Uh, many stories that aren't involved or crucial to the road to WrestleMania, but they are going to be in there. For example, some WWE superstars might actually ambush a rival or go toe-to-toe with them in a promo for the sake of doing promos. Now, let's talk about these promos because they have updated the promos my goodness so they knew last year the promo was a big step 
obviously. Um, but it really was so like clunky and and funky and it's and stunky like i don't know what else to rhyme with that but it was it was very difficult you had a lot of uh just the scoring system was off and and sometimes you'd want to tell a bad promo and then you click a line and now you telling a face line and you're like whoa this ain't working out then the crowd is booing you Telling you you suck and you like this is not how I wanted this to go, so it was clear. So it says here it was clear that it says here it was clear that some more unique WWE superstars needed to be represented better when cutting promos. So like Undertaker and Enzo, who have very uh, different type of promo attributes when they're they're moving, the way they talk, the way they move, uh, definitely different. So they're gonna add new animations. That will spread across the superstars to make them feel like themselves on a microphone. So if you get Shinsuke Nakamura, he'll be moving more in a unique way like he does when he's walking and talking. Bray Wyatt will fidget and, 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 and you know, be sharper moving and, and cutting across the ring like he does when he's preaching on a microphone. The New Day will dance their way to the ring instead of walking. Uh... Is they just want all the promos to feel special and unique to each superstar. So it feels like when you're in a promo with that superstar, you're actually going face to face with them in a battle of words. Um, one of the more fun components of promos was the combo system. So they looked at a way to shift that so that they would find the best fan favorite or bad guy answer. Uh, last year, scoring model was very rigid and made players feel like they had to make choices they didn't want to make in order to get high marks. This year, rather than trying to score the highest value, we wanted to score players on promo cohesion. This means as a player, you'll be able to pick the point you want to make while on the mic. After that point, you'll be scored based on how well you stick to that point. You no longer have to worry about if this is what you should say as a crowd favorite or a bad guy promo this year is about saying what you want to say and sticking to your word i am all for it 100 percent. that sounds legit and now the my career invasion for those who enjoyed having your friends all up in your my career and since i don't have any friends my my career was pretty empty sort of like my dms uh, with this edition of Free Roman Backstage, naturally we started thinking about the possibilities for My Career Invasion. Just like last year, your friends, My Player can populate your My Career save. However, this year you will actually see them backstage. Pause, head to break. What? Boy, you better quit playing. I'm about to have to make some new friends. They act just like any WWE superstar you will see backstage. You can talk to them, pick them up as a tag partner, get side quests involving them, and even ambush them. It's up to you what roles your friends, my player, will have in your my career. In closing, guys, listen, we are looking forward to letting you try out all this new stuff in new in the new year's version of my career. A lot of hard work went into making this my career, and we hope you enjoy it guys listen i am excited for this this sounds legit this sounds fire custom belts having vince mcmahon on your side is going down listen y'all you guys tell me what y'all think about it down in the comments below don't forget to like subscribe to the one touch universe and i will catch y'all on the flip side salute